In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this beautiful rounded rectangle opening slide in PowerPoint for a very modern presentation. And it really works in all colors, so you could use it in light or dark backgrounds, but also with any type of picture that you want in your presentation. You can change the accent colors in very simple and easy ways, but it also works with any type of image. So you could use your product images, you could use cities, you could use any topic that you wanted to discuss. So for the first part of the tutorial, we're starting with the creation of the slide. And here we want to look at how we can create those shapes in two ways and easily customize it to your colors. Let's start from a blank slide. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to the shapes and choose a rounded rectangle. We're going to drag it on the screen. If you hold the shift key, it will create even sides. So like a rectangle, but with the rounded corners. Next, we're going to create the position. So let's rotate it 45 degrees. If you hold the shift key, it will rotate in increments of 15 degrees, so that helps. Hold control key and scroll backwards or use this toggle switch at the bottom. We're going to increase it in size and let's make sure it's turned 45 degrees. And then we're going to position it at the bottom so that the middle of the rounded corner kind of aligns perfectly with the bottom of the slide. And at the top, it can be a bit lower, so let's leave some space at the top not too much just a little bit less and i think this will do quite well position it a bit on the right of the slide we're going to create a copy and then scale it down and position it on the side we can increase it or decrease it whatever or not we want that rounded corner in all sides and then copy it once more and put it on the other side here again you can decrease it if you want that roundness and you can adjust the roundness so that it matches evenly. For my example, I'm going to use the same roundness of the corner and it can go into straight edges at the side. So we don't need the roundness everywhere. Now, of course you can position them however you want on the slide that is totally up to you, depending on the design that you want. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a normal rectangle to the slide and we're going to drag it on top because we're going to cut out the shapes a little bit. I'm going to select one of the shapes that we've created, hold shift and select the big rectangle. Make sure that it's larger than the other one. Go to shape format, merge and subtract. The order that we click the objects in is very important. So let's do that once more for the other ones. So a rectangle at the bottom here, select this one first because we want to select this and subtract this one. That's how the logic works and subtract. And then we do that a few more times so that all sides are nicely cut out. You don't have to do this. It creates a neater effect on the slide and easier to work with and insert images afterwards. Select the shape, hold shift, and then subtract. And then once more to the side, there we go, and subtract. And this way we have three clean shapes on this slide where we can work with. We're going to select them all shape format and union because we want to merge them together as one shape i don't need an outline so i can remove the outline on the shapes now let's look for a nice image so go to the insert tab icons this is if you're working on a mac if you're working on a windows computer it will show the insert picture icon go to images and let's look for something nice leaves and here you get an entire library with different types of leaves. So you can choose whichever one fits your style best, or you can just drag in your own image that you have selected. If you find a nice one, drag it in, and then you can already increase it in size and then control X or cut it. Click on shape, right click format shape, and we're going to the fill option. And here we want to choose a picture or texture fill. Click on clipboard, and then you have the picture inside. Now there's a few things we can do here. With the leaves, it doesn't really matter, but if you have, for example, buildings, they will be rotated quite strangely. So you can toggle on or off that rotate with shape option, and that will position the image nicely as if we were on a slide alone and not with that turned shape. Another thing is that you can select this option or deselect the tile picture as a texture. So it, if it doesn't fit entirely, or if you want to repeat it a few times, you can check this. If you just want one image, you can leave it as it is. If your image doesn't fit the screen, you can always adjust the offsets to left, right, or top and bottom to make sure that it matches. 
Now let's format the background. So format background. And we're going to give this not entirely white, but just a little bit of an off white fill. It's a bit easier on the eye. Small detail. Let's go to the image and add a shadow. We're not going to use a drop shadow this time. We're going to use an inner shadow. So if we add the inner shadow, we can see that the sides have like a drop shadow on top of the image, but from the inside. And it kind of looks like it's a cutout of that white shape and the image is behind it. Now you can play around with the transparency if you want more or less transparent shadows and then also with the blur. It's a very subtle effect, but I think it does the extra trick. Now let's add some content to the slide. And for that, we're going to choose a text box. Let's type in any word. It can be your title. We're going for nature. The font is Avenir Next. And we're choosing a sub font, which is bold. Let's increase the font size. So to about 60 or maybe one more, 66 will do in our case. Maybe 60 was better. Leave some more margin on the slide. Now let's add another text box, drag it below and paste in some dummy text. For this one, we're going for the font Avenir Next as well, but the ultra light version and reduce the font size just a little bit. If you want a subtitle in between, you can do that. You can copy the text and add an additional text box with a subtitle in there. And this could, for example, be a demi bold. Let's also make it all caps and position it everything nicely against each other on the left side. Now, if you want some extra touch to this slide, this text is now all black. You could select one of the colors from the image that will look nice. So go to the color fill, more colors. And here you have this color selection tool where you can drag to any of the points of your image and look for a nice color that will match your slide. So let's select one of those and see what that gives. And this way we instantly have a color connection between the elements on the slide. If you want something darker, you can also select any other color that you want. Let's go for this one. That's a bit darker. I think that fits better on the slide. Now here at the bottom of our page, we have quite a lot of white space. If you want to fill that up, you can do it with some elements. Let's go for a rounded rectangle. That way we stay in the theme of the opening slide. Adjust the roundness just a little bit. Let's remove the outline and give it that same green color fill. Now it can be anything that you add in here. Uh, for now, I'm just going to add some dummy text, make the font white so it stands out a bit more and maybe just a bit smaller. It could be a subtitle, it could be a call for action or just any topic that you want. I'm going to align it to the right this time and that leaves some room on the left side. And this we're also going to fill in with a nice icon. Since we're talking about leaves or any other topic, you could look for some icons that match your content. Let's go for nature. And here we can find a whole lot of icons that might match our style. In our case, it would be nice if we have something like a leaf or maybe a plant. Let's see if we find more there. This gives us a bit more detailed options and this could look quite nice. I'm going to add it and give it a white fill and then reduce the size and position it before the lettering or before the word. Position it in the center. There we go. You can also expand the box if you need more room. That is always an option. I'm going to do it just like this and position that equally in the middle. Select them both and give everything equal spacing. So maybe a bit more spacing between the text and then the title as well. That looks quite good. Select everything and then place it nicely in the middle. And this already is our first slide. And for the next part, we want to look at the animation of the slide. So we're going to look at how we can add this nice fly in effect to the presentation. And first, I'm going to group this together. So it acts as one and I'm going to select the four objects, go to animations and let's use a fly in effect here. We want to happen to make it happen from the left, open the animation pane. And now let's put some timings and effect options to it. A smooth end always is nice. The duration, it doesn't have to be too fast, just one second will do. I want to have the content appear on the click on nature, so that's good, and then the rest can follow. But I want a short delay, so 0.3, let's say, and then everything follows with 0.3 interval, so 0.6 and 0.9. And now let's preview and see what we have created already. 
So we have a beautiful opening slide and as soon as we click, we get the content flying in nicely from the left side. And for the next part, we're looking at how we can customize it. So easily change the background of the presentation and the colors. Now, of course, this slide works in multiple ways. You could, you could customize it to your needs. So let's, for example, format the background. Let's maybe duplicate it so we can see all the results. And let's change the background color to something darker. Let's say a dark gray will do. The only thing we have to change here is the text. So make that white or off white so it stands out a bit more. And now we have a totally different look and feel of the slide, which is a darker feel. And as soon as we click, we get the content appearing. So it's very easy to customize and change it to your needs. Similarly, if you want to change the pictures, let's do that. So let's duplicate the content here and look for a different image. Let's go to the icon step again, stock images, images. And let's say we want yellow leaves. We could look for different leaves that could fit. For example, this forest here. Let's see what that would look like if we expand it to the full slide. Control X, select the picture, go to format, first tab, and then picture fill and use clipboard because we have that on our control X. This already looks pretty good, but now the link with the green is gone. So we're going to change this, select our color selection tool and look for a nice yellow color, like an orange yellow color would be great here. And then you just apply it to the different objects and that instantly gives another feel to the slide. Let's do the same for the dark version, picture fill, clipboard, and then we give those to the same yellow color. They're in your recent colors, so that instantly helps. Shape fill and make it yellow. So this already gives a totally different look and feel of your slides if you want to change it in to any topic that you want. And here you can see me doing the same thing, but for a totally different image. So let's do red leaves. If you want to have a presentation about the different seasons, that could perfectly work. Control X, format background, clipboard, and there you have it. Change color, red, color picker, bright red, and do the same for this one. And there you have a totally different slide as well. So it, it works really fast if you get used to the commands in, in PowerPoint. If you want a shortcut, you can select one of the text boxes, use Control Shift C to create the copy and Control Shift V to paste it. So that's a pretty neat tool to use in PowerPoint if you want any of the shortcuts and it can save you a lot of time in the long run. Now this doesn't only work for leaves, so you can you can really customize any picture that you like. Let's take something totally different. Let's look for a skyline of a city if you want to do a city presentation. And then you can scroll down, use any picture that you like. Let's see what we could do. I think this one will be very nice as well. So let's put a black and white image in here and see what we can do with that. Scale it up, copy, picture format, clipboard, and there we have it. Look how nice that looks. And of course, with a dark background, I think here the yellow color fill will be better because that makes it stand out that just a little bit extra compared to the other colors. And let's drag that to the bottom. So we can see that we have already created a lot of variation in quite a fast time. So a pretty cool slide. Now let's add a nice fade transition and have a look at the results that we have created. So here we have the opening slide. As soon as we click, the content flies in and that also works for dark templates, but not only for the green color or that picture, it also works for any other color that you like to have in your presentation. You could do this with nature presentations. You could do this with skylines, products, anything that fits on the slide you could use in this template. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please watch the video on the screen right now.